So here I'm in my app data roaming where I have my Blender folder and I'm just going to rename it and add an A to the end so that way it actually has a different name and Blender will create a new Blender folder when we open it up. Over on the left I have my Blender launcher and we have the latest version of 3.0, the stable version under stable. And let's go ahead and launch the official 3.0 update and because it's new it loaded on a different monitor so we will just stretch it to fit inside of our window and so just setting up, setting up Blender, we're just going to select what left, spacebar search. We can even set the theme to deep gray, which is one that I like nowadays. And we can just choose next and we're good to go. With my cube selected, I'll just press control I and we'll delete the camera and the light because it's just not going to be needed. And from here, we can press F4, jump over to our preferences and go to add-ons and begin the installation process. So I'm just going to choose install and I already have them downloaded to a path, so first we'll install box cutter. 719.6, the latest version in the markets at this time. Next we'll go to install and we'll install the latest version of Hardops 987 underscore 26 of the France CM line. So with these two installed, we're now good to go. So going through our preferences, under navigation I like to turn off auto perspective and just making sure our spacebar actions are set up properly. Maybe ensure that we have our proper CUDA area set up. And as far as recent file goes, I like to remember about 30, set my auto save to be about a minute in. Our save preview type is already set to auto, so everything else is pretty good. We can also go to themes, and just a couple of very small things that I like to change up whenever I Get in the blender is increasing my vertex size, my face dot size, and also my outline width, even though it's not needed. We could also expand the node editor and just set our noodle curving to be at zero, which will give us straight lines. But also when it comes to the active object, I like to have it be a different color. So sometimes I'll make it either green or blue or somewhere in between, just to make it a little easier on my eyes. And with that, we're now good to go. So we could just save our preferences, click on the X, and by pressing Alt W, we have now started up box cutter, so we're basically good to go. However, we do also want to go under our opt-ins and just enable box cutter notifications. And that's about it when it comes to setting things up. So from here, we can save our default file. And let's just test it out by closing Blender and then opening it up again. And we see that it opens up exactly where we left off with box cutter started up and we're able to basically get to work cutting and a beveling.